Hi, honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay. I got another air fryer, y'all. This one here is the George Foreman Beyond Grill. Okay. So it has seven functions. It's an air fryer. It's a grill. That's why it says beyond grill. It broils, it roasts, it bakes, it keep warm and slow cook on high and low. So this does a lot of things. And it was at a good price. So I saw it and I said, I got to get it. I got to get it. I love me some kitchen gadgets. I'm very partial to air fryers and stuff like that. But this is the back of the box. It shows you everything that it does. And it says air fry plus more. Okay. Well, that's the way the box looks. It, that box was in this box uh, so it's packaged up nicely so let's get down to it okay let me show you now I've already made room on my counter for this because I plan on making some chicken wings so this is the way it looks Okay, that's where it looks. There's the heating element in the top. There's also one in the bottom. It comes with the grill plate. That's for, like we wanna make steaks or hamburgers or something with the grill marks on it. Supposedly, it puts grill marks on it. So I haven't tried it out yet. It comes with this. You can uh, slow cook in here if you want to. You can. Uh, they said I don't need the grill plate when I want to air fry something. I just put it right in here. So usually in most air fryers, the food is lifted up off the bottom. So your chicken ain't swimming in the grease that the chicken's gonna make. So we're going to see how this works. Or well, I may have to put a, a rack or something in here. But I'm going to try it out today. And this feels like um, cast iron. It's so heavy. Um, I got this non-stick finish. And this, this is heavy also. show you the inside of this has this top heating element along with the fan like most air fryers have and oh it's too heavy to do that let me take this camera off so I can show you this is the way the inside looks it has a bottom heating element also top and bottom and the pan or the pot has to be in here for it to cook it has this thing so if the pot ain't in there it's not even going to turn on that's a safety measure okay this is the way the panel looks let me see if I can plug it in. Let me see if this plug will reach. Just a minute. Okay, I just plugged it in. It has an error message letting me know that I need to put this pot in here. 
We're going to see if the error message will go up. Yep, it went off. Okay. So, you see the air fryer thing is blinking. So, let me see how you work this. This is how you change the functions. You press the up or down arrow. So, that says roast. Press it again. It goes to bake. Low, slow cook. What's the next one? Grill. Broil. Keep warm. And high slow cook. Just like regular slow cookers, you know, if it's on high, it'll cook from like six to eight hours. And the low cooks like four hours. And once I set it to where I want it, I'm going to air fry. So I'm going to set it now. Set it for air fry. I press enter. So the preset for air fry is 425 Fahrenheit. So I think I want it to be at 400. Press the down arrow for 400. Press enter to set it. And I think I want to cook the wings for 22 minutes. Press the up arrow and then press enter. Okay. And it beeped. Okay, now I'm not ready to cook nothing right now because I'm showing y'all this. And like I said, I don't have to cook on the grill plate or whatever this thing is called when I air fry. This is mainly for steaks and whatever I want grill marks on. But I'm going to see how it works. So let me close it. I'm going to unplug it. Oh no, I don't want to start. Let me unplug it. Uh, cancel. Just canceled it. And I'm going to unplug it. Where is it? Okay, I just unplugged it. So let me put this camera back on this. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to show you how this looks. It has hand grips on the bottom so I can lift it. It has a bunch of vents, all kind of vents on the back and on the top. So that's the top. And me. Uh, I'm trying to turn it upside down. You even got vents under the bottom. I don't know if hot air is going to blow out of that or not. And it's nowhere in the instruction booklet or on the box that tells me the wattage. So I called the company. They said it's 1600 watts. And I asked, does each function use the top and bottom heating elements and it does so it's a, it's a good looking appliance comes with this book it has a few recipes in it and I, you know I don't use no recipe it says seven in one indoor grill and air fry it's called George Foreman Beyond Grill and I like the George Foreman brand. I had a couple of their air fryers back in the day. No, not air fryers. Grills. Y'all know them George Foreman grills. Everybody was getting when they came out. So I had the little one. I think it would fit two hamburgers. Then I got a bigger one. It would cook maybe six burgers or steaks or whatever. And I left my big one at the last house I lived in. Just left it in the cabinet because I wasn't going to use it. Well, anyway, this is my review of the 
George Foreman Beyond Grill. It's a grill and an air fryer and a bunch of other things. So I'm going to hold this up so y'all can see. It's, it's heavy. It's not as heavy as my other air fryers though. I feel like a fan of, fan of black. Okay. So. I'm not sure if I'll get my air frying uh, video up today, but I'm going to put this. Okay, I had to take the, the card out. This little thing. All right, so I think I was in the middle of doing my thumbnail. I was holding this. Oh, I didn't show y'all the handle. That's the handle right here. And I didn't test it to see if it will open up up under my cabinets. So I hope it works. Okay. Okay, so this is my George Foreman Beyond Grill. Air fryer and grill and a bunch of other things. So. Thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. And I'll put the link for this. I got it from Amazon. And I'll put the link for it in my description box. But like I said, I'll probably air fry it today, but I ain't going to do that video today. I'll probably put it up tomorrow. Okay. Y'all be blessed. Bye.